Hey guys, Lisa Laurie here and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I have glasses. Yes, they are not new. I had glasses since sixth grade. I just, I lost mine and didn't get a pair for like two years. So yeah, but now I have a pair again. And um, I am farsighted, I think? Which means I can, s no, nearsighted. I just get it backwards. Nearsighted, which means I can see near, but I can't see far. So, I can see close up, but I can't see far away. All right, so I'm gonna start a new segment called How to Write a Book. First, the first step in writing a book is you gotta come up with the idea and the genre, obviously. So first you gotta come up with like yours. Usually my, my first step is writing the synopsis. I come up with the idea for something to write the synopsis. You don't have to do that. Most people write the synopsis afterwards. I usually find that after I write the book, I have to rewrite the synopsis anyways, so, yeah, but usually I use the I use the synopsis, the first synopsis that I've written before I start the book to help me because the questions at the end help me kind of like guide my story. Um, but sometimes I find that that doesn't usually work, and I end up changing the the story ends up taking its own course, and then I have to rewrite the synopsis afterwards. But anyways, first you gotta come up with your premise. So like usually your premise would be like, what if you come up with an idea, and then you come up with a premise, and you say like, what if this, or whatever. I don't know, how do you come up with something? Um, I think, let's see, let's say you have a character. Um, oh, here's a really good example. One of my stories, I've never been a publicist. One of my stories, I can't remember what it's called, that had this character, these two characters. One is in a loving family, and one's in foster care. They both make a wish to, um, to have something else, to have something else. The person who has the loving family, the loving parents, feels like the parents are very, very overbearing, and they wish that they had a different life, that they had different parents. And the kid in foster care, just as if that's the middle finger, and the kid in foster care wants, all she wants is a loving family. And then they end up switching lives. Um, I think it's called The Wish or something, I don't really remember. But yeah, basically my idea for that was, what if, I think my idea for that was like, what if, I don't know, I don't actually remember what the premise idea for that was. Anyways, so first you gotta come up with that, and if you wanna make, you can do it as a fiction genre. Sometimes it'd be cool to, to try to do as a uh, like sci-fi, maybe they're on a different planet or something, that'd be cool. Um, you could take, even if you take something that's like, take like a cliche idea like, um, two people get married, I don't know. It's hard to think on the spot like this. Like, let's just say like, characters A and B get married, okay, well, what if there it's historical fiction or something? Or fantasy where the guy, I don't know, I don't know, where a dragon swoops down and like ruins the whole wedding, I don't know. <laughs> Use your imagination to come up with that. So, yeah, and if you can't come up with an idea, sometimes just go to Google and like use like a, um, like a story plot or something, generator or whatever, like a story idea generator or something. Or you can just go on Pinterest and look up story ideas. I use that too. Um, so, yeah, that's even like, even if you look at, look at a picture or something, that could also give you a story idea. Um, there's so many things that can give you story ideas. You can use your, your own life or go on a walk and see how nature speaks to you or something. So that's the first step in writing a book, coming up with the idea and the premise and the genre. Pretty easy. You don't have to do a title or synopsis. That was a more personal choice for me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Have a blessed day. Love you all.